I felt really wise over the Thanksgiving break. I felt myself sink into my knowing and send that out in love through the people I was with. I mean, it's easy to send it out to them because I love them, even though they drive me crazy. And I brought back that healing with me of this love that wanted to radiate. And because I am human, then I have an evening like I had last night where I felt very undeserving of my purpose. I felt that I had failed in effort. I felt that I had failed in consistency. And I felt that I was offered the chance to expand and took the safe and easy way out. Now, I'm not looking to bash myself. I'm looking to look at why I couldn't hold grace um, and what that really is about for me. And it's two things, really. It's about the trust to know there's a difference between expanding your capacity and pushing your limits because you it is a absolute marathon, not a sprint. And I need to be smart about what I am collecting my energy to use in, especially now when it takes a certain amount of energy to keep your shields up, which you must have going or else you will be sapped rather quickly from the outside in. And then do I trust me? Do I trust me that seeds need to germinate under the ground before they sprout? That any amount of water and fertilizer can smother the seed just as much as ignoring it? Well, I'm not so good at being patient, allowing things to germinate in their own time. And yet that is precisely what is being asked of me. That is the answer I got from God last night. That all is as it should be. And it's not on your timetable. And I squirmed under that blessing. And my human self, that wants a modicum of control, which I know is an illusion, clutches and grabs and gets desperate for production when the wiser thing to do is to let it come to you and get in the flow where you're supposed to be anyway and where you can be twice as productive in less time than being strung out. You would think that I would have accumulated this knowledge by now. And intellectually, I can sit here and tell you this all day. But I can also tell you the urgency in my body that I felt last night that I was abandoning my dreams and my promises. It was not easy to sit with. And simultaneous, I know that all is happening and unfolding as it should. I can hold those two things together. So I ask you, what is coming up for you today? As we near the holidays, there's usually a lot of paradoxes that we need to hold. You drive me crazy because I love you the best. <laughs> um, the pressure from the outside in grows. And nefarious forces look for a crack. So it's more important than ever to really protect your heart and yet keep it open. There's another paradox right there. <laughs> so that is what I am looking at today. And so I ask you, what is the paradox that is closest to you? What are the two things that seem opposite that you are being asked to hold both of? That's what's come up for me today. And I will see you tomorrow.